will be getting from your uh, this uh, career service agent and then integrate back to our system. And uh, another very important process is the uh, proof of delivery. So how you prove your delivery? If today you engage third party uh, transporter, so if you engage a third party transporter, definitely uh, they may have their own system. So what you do is like when you uh, generate out this uh, outbound, outbound uh, carton box with the label, we can generate out outbound carton lock, uh, the ship, shipping label or the outbound carton label. <coughs> The transporter come in, pick up the goods, we can do one more scanning using our mobile. So to prove that what time that particular parcel or that particular item has been delivered, hand over to the third party. Or if you have own transport, meaning that your own driver. So if your own driver is like a deliver to your customer, meaning that go to the doorstep. So you can track until doorstep, meaning that arrive your customer uh, location, that means the office, what the driver have to do is they just use the mobile to do a scanning. Scan on the de delivery notes with the barcode. So when they scan, prove by who, accept by who, so you're able to generate and then post back, link out to our WNS proof of delivery. So you can generate out that reports, okay? In order to prove that this particular item has been delivered to your customer doorstep. Okay, and then we have a QC, quality control. Let's say today your item is probably the OEM item, but you have to prove to get the Siri, uh, this uh, hologram. So the Siri hologram, definitely you have to sampling. Do a sampling out your items and then go for the QC. If the QC uh, so-called like uh, pass, then only you can release your item. So this one we call it QC in and then QC out. Okay. And uh, we have a reporting, which is very friendly reporting, meaning that you can set a schedule. You can generate like uh, maybe stock balances by uh, one day, two times, like morning and uh, one time, and then five o'clock, one time. Or you can just like uh, generate out the reports based on your needs. We call it user-definable inquiry. So this user-definable uh, inquiry is for us to know that uh, what are the operations like... Uh, difficulty or report that have to generate every day, system can uh, uh, configure and then set a schedule to generate out every day for us. So without like any humans uh, uh, getting your staff to actually manual retrieve out for you, no need. Because you can generate into PDF or CSV or Excel file and then email directly. We have one called auto report, scheduler. So you can schedule. Instead of getting your stuff, you know, if your stuff MC, then uh, today you cannot get a report, right? So what we do is you generate from the system directly. So these are the functionality available in our system, including billing. Billing is for 3PL, uh, the party logistic. So we have a Chinese version, we have English version. Vast majority using the English version. Uh. But we have a customer in China, they're using uh, Chinese Simplified. Uh, okay, these are the main uh, key features, including like multiple warehouses. If today you have multi location, multiple location, you just invest the system only one centralized, and then everybody can see. So means that every uh, locations uh, operation staff they can use single system, one system. Okay, you can actually manage using the security setting. This location A is only for locations A uh, user. Then HQ can see everything. A, B, C, then they have our own product to manage or the own location. So we can, we can do that. Uh, we also allow uh, those company, those warehouse to keep track the HALA, HALA certificate. So means that every product, if your warehouse is a uh, HALA warehouse or your product or other uh, HALA products, definitely you must have a uh, JAKIM uh, certified with the HALA certificate for every product with the certifications code plus the expiry date. 
So each product you have still have a managing on this uh, HALA certification. So what you can do is you can control and then generate out report when the junkie come and visit your warehouse. So you're able to tell them, okay, my uh, these are the items that have in the list, and then what are the items with the HALA, you know, products, including the their certifications number and their expiry date. So this is very important for especially Malaysia product which is uh, have uh, this uh, HALA certification. And we allow you to track from the, not only the warehouse system, just track the product, you can also track your transporter. So if you, especially we engage third party transporter, we able, able to actually calculate out or reconcile against the third party uh, invoice to our company. At least we know that uh, every trip that we have every day, which are the engagement, go to the own internal uh, uh, driver, or by third party, delivered by third party. And we can even like issue allowance to our lorry driver. So because we probably we count by uh, carton or count by trip by each uh, driver. So from this report, definitely you're able to generate out because every transaction you tag with the transporter here, including inbound or outbound. Inbound means that receiving probably not from uh, the supplier directly from third party as well. You also engage the third party for this uh, inbound receiving or the outgoing is outbound delivery notes. Okay, you can even like uh, track by uh, this uh, so-called uh, capacity here because maybe different char by two tons, uh, four tons, and so on. So you're able to know the this uh, uh, capacity for each truck. <coughs> really helpful. And barcode here can be barcode printing or QR code. Barcode normally is like a one, one D, we call it one dimension. It's a barcode. So mostly using barcode uh, one D. Two D is QR code. Two D, why you need two D? Normally it's like uh, your shipment, shipment document that like correct service. Huh? You one scan, you able to know the recipient, telephone number, address and so on. So the one contain why we want to use 2D, 2D because contain more information. 1D normally a company using 1D for product because one, one scan you're able to know the product code and the, this uh, expiry date or the lot number. So 1D less info, 2D will be more info. Okay, these are the sample screen which is allow you to have a, a combined picking. This combined pick, you can pick based on maybe by transport agent or by state. Okay? By transport agent, why you do that? Because uh, sometimes you want to do a bulk picking uh, based on courier service. That's why you have a bulk picking based on the transport. Or maybe maximum order per pick. Let's say cyber sales, you have uh, maybe uh, 2,000 uh, orders, now you only have two person. You have two persons to do the bulk picking. So how you actually derive? So divide, maybe divide by uh, one person, 1,000, 1,000, right? Or based, or based on area. Based on area means that, let's say, these uh, particular trucks will come in at 10 o'clock. So you have to get ready. Their orders go to maybe northern region, like uh, go to Penang. So what we have to do is we have to sort according to that uh, agent. So this one is called flexible combined picking. So it's not like system will just, you just select all and then do one picking, no. It will be categorized according to the uh, algorithm based on the selections here. Uh, this is the packing. Packing you can use like a scanner. The 2D scanner, you just like the shopping mall, huh? when you go to the retail, they do a scanning. So why you want to use the scanning, you do the packing here, because after bulk picking out, it's about maybe 1,000, consists of 1,000 orders. And then you have six people doing the, in the, you know, at the packing station, six persons actually handling the individual orders. So from pack, picking to packing, picking to packing means that what we can do is, you can just like uh, add, allocate to the person. Document number here is the bulk picking number. And then individual issue number is the based on one order, by individual order. So what we do is like uh, you do the packing. And then after that, you can see the, bo uh, the bottom here with the 
with the this uh, button here, you can immediately print out <coughs> the delivery notes. Some even want to print out invoice because maybe overseas product. You have to go through the custom. So custom required us to provide a sales invoice. So you can generate out even the sales invoice and then the shipping label. Shipping label is like you know courier service, uh, one uh, shipping label directly from system. This is the uh, inventory inquiry allow us to just like on the spot check you know and then get the summary of the reports like the stock balances immediately you can export out to Excel and you can even have a user defined inquiry here any ad hoc report as long as you enter in the system definitely you can churn out that reports so meaning that any reports that are not in the standard but you already entered the data, definitely you can ask uh, our team to generate out for you and then you can schedule it by maybe every day can churn out that report, become your own standard. Even though it's a customized, but you can, if you have your own uh, IT department, they can uh, generate the report as well by their own. So you can even customize your reports. Auto report generator, this is what uh, just now I meant. You can have your own uh, schedule by daily basis or monthly basis or maybe twice a day. Data grid and customizer, you can customize your uh, screen, not only the reports. And you can user define your own like uh, document number, the running number by yourself. We have a uh, data import capability, meaning that uh, as long as your system, ERP system, generate out the uh, the maybe sales order without any integration, can follow your own format, and then you can import in into the system or export out to your ERP system. Data output is export. Definable transaction type. Inbound, outbound is not only like uh, receive in from a supplier, it could be sales return from your client, right? So you can generate out multiple different uh, running number, including the adjustment. And we allow you to set your own security for your own uh, functionality and the reports and then by different item group also. Meaning that let's say you have uh, this group of item and then in charge by this team A, then you can define that team A can only really see that re report or transactions that related to that item. So meaning that if you have one warehouse sharing multiple companies, maybe you have three companies, company A, B, C, but using the same warehouse, sharing the same uh, warehouse, storing the different product, what you can use is you just invest one WNS system Centralized for these three companies and then set different three groups of uh, different uh, user So each user from this different company access to their own uh, uh, products including the reports Okay, these are the some uh, very good uh, functionality like very friendly if maybe we go out for lunch we halfway we want to uh, bookmark our transactions and then return back and then we log in and then we can check back this uh, transaction and continue back. So this will be the mobile apps that we have like uh, receiving, uh, inbound receiving and then we have a uh, transfer, picking, packing, stock count, quality control, pick up, pick up is for the this uh, when outbound uh, and then inquiry, capture video, capture the images. Let's say Maybe the product come in damaged already. So what you do is like you can immediately use the mobile and then capture the video, capture the picture. It's not using the WhatsApp. A lot of people like WhatsApp operation team, uh, they WhatsApp to the management, to the <laughs> to their supplier. You are not doing that. You can do that actually. But you capture, you capture into the system. You capture into the system when we <clears throat> capture the video or capture the notes or capture the picture. You scan your this uh, delivery uh, notes, huh? 
Then you scan already, system will auto-link this uh, video or this uh, picture into the system. So maybe after one year, you want to trace back. Maybe not one year, maybe next, uh, after one month, you want to trace back this uh, video. You can go back to the system and then you check the hyperlink. It will store into your server database, in, uh, server hard disk space instead of database. It will not uh, slow down your performance in terms of your database, no worry. So you capture this one, the good thing is system will help you to memorize. That means capture this information into the server instead of your own personal handphone WhatsApp. Okay, this is very uh, good features for the tracking in terms of the product, especially damaging product. Okay, so these are the functionality available, available in our mobile application with all these uh, very rich uh, functions here. Uh, for WIS, normally you have to invest like uh, this uh, handheld scanner. You have to use this and then you have to use this uh, printer, uh, barcode printer to print out. Okay, of course, if those like uh, with a pallet, instead of invent, uh, using this uh, printer, they can use a normal printer as well. They print out in A4 probably to save cost because for uh, this label, maybe uh, one label, it could tell a uh, big one, maybe 20 cent, 30 cent. Okay, so if you want to save money, so some of my client, they're using A4 paper also, you know, because they have uh, one wrapping. So wrapping will actually say will not have any problem if they use uh, A4 paper. So this will be the web portal for the your own outlet, your salesperson, your if you are 3PL then your client log in, log in already then they can check their own products. Okay, inventory balances. Okay. And they can place order. If they have uh, this uh, ASN means the advanced shipping code. They have uh, this uh, inbound booking. They want to actually book the, uh, the your uh, space. Meaning that they tell you what are the info, the product that going to come into your warehouse. So you can have this uh, inbound ASN. So these are the you know web uh, applications. Uh, screenshot which is you can actually take a look these are the reporting okay that's about it if you're really interested in knowing more about the warehousing system uh, we are local made eh? local made not the overseas uh, product made in Malaysia so definitely it's affordable price okay i know that uh, many uh, wis in the market so if you really look for maybe you are the startup company or maybe medium size uh, enterprises you prefer to start from you know changing from the excel uh, manual to uh, the wis system automate some of the process you can start with bistrap wis so we at this uh, booth uh, Number is 8Q09. 8Q09 is over there. Okay? We have a demo set also. Uh, immediately be on the spot, we can show you the demo. Our team is standby to show you the demo, how to do the, uh, the process, you know, from inbound until outbound. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay, thank you so much, Miss Jessica C. Uh, if do you have any questions, you can approach her personally or you can go to the booth. They are more than willing to help you. So, uh, as a segue, we'll just continue on to the next segment. Okay, this is the last talk session, which is entitled Leveraging ERP Solution for Efficient Manufacturing and Rational Control of Production and Sales. So, it will be uh, happening right away. So, if you want to hear the next part, uh, please stay put as this is the last uh, small bit talk, which is called Pocket Talk. My apologies, which is the last Pocket Talk of the day. And after that, is the end of the pocket talk section, okay?